can I offer on behalf of the college this morning a very, very warm welcome to you all. And of course, particularly all of our new boys uh, and parents. People have made such a terrific effort to be here today. I know some, some mums and dads have even braved one of our 15 buses that have come from all over Greater Brisbane. I hope today the boys' conduct on the bus was the best it will be all year. I'm sure it was. Many families have travelled a greater distance to be here today and, and they may have got a welcome in the boarding school last night. And this isn't an exhaustive list by any means, but just to give people an idea of the context of Nudgee and uh, all involved. We've had families today from Roma and Gundy, from God's own country of Townsville and Cairns, from Rockhampton, the Western Downs, from Melbourne, Sydney, New Zealand and Adelaide and lots of other places uh, around Queensland. Can we thank those families for travelling all this way to be here at Nudgee today? But of course, whether you have travelled that great distance or perhaps you live uh, at College Green at Burndall, uh, you are unbelievably important to us. We've been back on campus now for some weeks and everything has been getting ready for today to welcome uh, our new boys and families into the Nudgee family. And that is incredibly special. I know for families this has been the culmination uh, of perhaps some years of getting ready, or perhaps only weeks or months. But I know at some stage there might have been conversations over the dinner table of when you get to Nudgy X, whatever that is, and now we are here and we are going to have a terrific year. Ladies and gentlemen, a significant apology this morning with some sadness. Mr Fulliger has taken ill and will be away from school for a few days. And he's very, very sorry not to be here in person to welcome boys, but will be led uh, in the great hands of Mr David Johnson, who will be acting principal uh, over the coming days, and we'll hear from David shortly. But ladies and gentlemen, when we gather together always at Nudgee, we gather as a Christian community, uh, and in such events like today and many others, we always begin with prayer. And to lead us in prayer today, I welcome to the microphone our Dean of Identity, Mr Stephen Mara. Thank you, Mr Todd, and good morning to everyone. It feels like the first day of the week in a lot of ways, as we had a lovely day off yesterday, or most of us did. Uh, but it's not, of course, it's the middle of the week. But it is the first day of the school year. And it is the first day of your nudgy journey. And that is something uh, that gives us great joy and something that should be savoured. You will remember this day for the rest of your life. So welcome back, or welcome to Nudgy from your Christmas holidays. And it was only a few weeks ago that we celebrated the great feast of the birth of Christ. And people from all over the world are led, as were the Holy, uh, the Holy Family and the shepherds, to the person of Christ through the star. And that great gift to the world of God through his Son is often represented through that symbol of the star. And we wear that on our chest every day as a symbol of our faith and as a symbol of our community gathering around the person of Christ. And as Christ was the gift to the world, you are gifts to our community of Nudgee College. Mothers and fathers that are here today, please know that we do not take your gift for granted. And we thank you from the bottom of our hearts for sharing your son with us for these next few years. We will honour that gift and treat it as precious. And through our spirit and our community and our teaching, he will grow. 
and he will become a sign of faith. Signum Fidei, our college motto. So let us begin in prayer. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. God of all things, you bless our lives with your many gifts. Today we thank you for the gift of these young men. May they be welcome in our community. May we honour the trust and hope of their parents and families. And may they grow to be signum fidei, a sign of faith. Amen. Now, for the first time, then, I'm going to introduce to you one of our long-standing traditions here at the college. Every time we pray together, as a whole school, or as a house, or as a PC group, or as a class, we always finish with a line that has a call and a response. The leader of the prayer will say, live Jesus in our hearts, and everyone present responds in full voice with forever. So for the first time then today, let us give that a go. Live Jesus in our hearts. And now please welcome our college captain for 2021, Leo DeClara. Good morning, Mr. Johnson, staff, our new families, and our new Nudgy brothers. My name is Leo DeClara. It is my privilege to say to you, on behalf of our community and in particular, the seniors of 2021, welcome to Nudgy College. Welcome to your first day as part of this extraordinary institution. The word school doesn't do it justice. On my first day six years ago, I, like many of you, was very eager and perhaps a little nervous to begin my journey as a nudgy boy. Since that day passed, I have loved every second spent inside these gates. I know you will too. This is a place that helps you discover your strengths and pushes you to build your character to, in the best possible way. It is not always easy, but it is always worth the effort. In your first year at Nudgy, I hope that you make the very best of the opportunities, activities and gifts on offer, as well as dedicating yourself to the learning that you will soon begin in the classroom. Now, today presents us all with another gift, the opportunity to make friends. Sitting beside you right now is a boy who also begins a new chapter in his life. Whether you're the boy starting in year five at Nudgy with the rest of your new class, progressing into high school in year seven, or joining us at a different junction in another year level, it doesn't matter. You have been blessed with the reality that you are part of a community where you will connect with boys who you will know forever and mates you will share for life. One of those boys will be your big brother, a college senior who will help you out today as you get to know the place and throughout the year ahead. To the 2021 big brothers, I'd like to also welcome you to year 12 and to your senior journey. I hope that you had a great holiday and are ready to commence your senior year. We were once like these excited yet timid new boys, waiting to embrace your, our first day here. Be the senior that gives back to the college and pave the way for a great start to your little brother. So welcome to a new beginning. Welcome to your new home in 2021. Welcome to Nudgy College. Peter said to me this morning from on the phone, he said, just be careful when you do your speech because for sure the captain will take half the stuff you want to talk about. So well done, Leo, you have achieved that. Just a couple of points. First of all, I am here in Peter's um, uh, substituting for Peter. So if you're in theatre sports, I'm the understudy or if you're into the big bash, I'm the X Factor. So hopefully, um, as I said, Peter does send his best wishes. Um, he isn't well, but we expect to see him back sometime next week. On a serious note, we should keep in our prayers today St Brennan's College, Yapoon, there at one of our brother's schools. They've had a very tough start to the school year. They lost a Year 11 student early last week in a tragic car accident, and then I lost a popular staff member on Sunday night. So they're doing it tough. So um, when we think we're doing it tough, we should think about other people in that, that community. I spoke to their deputy just this morning and it's going to be a very tough start for them today. 
I've got some notes here that Peter wants me to talk about, but before I start his section, let's talk about nerves. Certainly I'm nervous up here right now, substituting him for Peter. But nothing like the nerves some parents and boys are feeling right now. And that's a good thing. Embrace those nerves. Take a moment now to reflect. How have you got here today? Boys, I know it's tough to understand, but you are very lucky. Think about the things your parents have done to get you here today. I said yesterday, at the very least, there's a significant financial commitment. Dad's given up the new car to give you an education. That's not a small thing, gentlemen. You are now the newest member of the Nudgy community. You now wear our uniform. You stand at the start of a wonderful journey full of opportunity and potential. Nudgy is a wonderland. You will make friends for life, as Leo mentioned. You'll have a chance to excel in subjects that will suit you and learn to love learning. You will be exposed to sports, performing arts, activities, cattle club, social justice opportunities. The range available here at this school is unmatched across the state and maybe even the nation. You are very lucky. There is a focus on learning, but our view of learning is very broad. It's varied and wide ranging. Get involved, gentlemen. Do your classwork. Do your homework. Study and immerse yourself. Take your time to find your tribe. Nudgy is not just a sporting school. I can say that with some confidence as a father of a boy who's not good at sport. He's been here now for four years and is thriving. He went from being almost a school refuser to a boy now who won't leave the school. I said yesterday to the people, my wife now lives in Yapoon, uh, sorry, Rockhampton. We had a choice 18 months ago to move up there with her. My son made that choice for us. He wants to be here at this school. Gentlemen, if you're nervous now, let me assure you in a term's time, I would bet you're going to be in the same way. Parents, as a parent, I'm telling you, give your sons the opportunity to immerse themselves here. The next couple of weeks will be hard. You will have to let go. Boys, give Nudgy a chance. The college has now been here for 130 years. At the heart of it is boarding and then the boys. We will have celebrations. And again, to my son's utter excitement, there will be merchandise. Boys, you're about to get a brand new hat or have Hunt 130 on the side and later in the year you'll get a little pin, a lapel that you've seen Mr Todd and Mr Mara wearing. It's a great year to look back but also a year to look forward. I'm sure in 130 years we'll still be here. We want our boys to be signum for day, signs of faith. Our values, reflected through the Star of Daniel that you'll see in the middle of the school crest, include community, justice, courage, authenticity and faith. Gentlemen and parents, while I want to welcome you to Nudgy, I want you also to jump on the roller coaster, enjoy the ride. There will be highs, there will be lows. But I believe when you walk out the gates, once you finish your journey here at Nudgy, you will be a man of faith, a man of compassion, a man of inclusion, and you will be a person who will value add to this world. Gentlemen, welcome to Nudgy.
Thank you, David. Well, our new nudgy men and parents, very shortly we're going to be heading out of this hall for boys to continue that journey of getting to know their school uh, and most importantly, connecting with each other and connecting with people here at Nudgee. Mums and dads, uh, parents and friends, you are welcome to stay uh, after boys head off in a moment uh, for a morning tea that we're going to have uh, out on the veranda shortly. To our new students, here's a little bit of what today looks like behind me on the screen there. Of course, I'm not expecting anyone, and we're not expecting anyone to remember that. Just a bit of a coverage of some of the things that will happen today. From here, all boys will head off to their house area, up on the screen there, for their welcome to house, which is a really special uh, event. As part of that welcome to house, boys will receive a house badge which I know that they will wear proudly. Extraordinarily this year, uh, all boys will receive today uh, a Nudgee 130 new cap with their name on it. So just some story, ladies and gentlemen, connected with that. Uh, what has been part of our uniform in grades 7 to 12 has been a Nudgee hat with a uh, or some running writing at the front which says nudgy with spirit and that actually comes from a very old marketing campaign from years and years ago before that cap even became the standard uniform cap. We've changed our cap this year back to a more simpler version just with the crest on it and because it is the year of nudgy 130 and because of that change Mr Fulliger made the decision to gift every student at Nudgee this year one of those caps and of course that came at a considerable cost and we thank Mr Fulliger for that gift. And you will see that around being worn very happily today. So Nudgee men, the cap that you get today for grade 7 to 12 is the new uniform cap for Nudgee to be worn. For our primary school boys, you're going to be gifted uh, one of those caps, but your uniform uh, is still the broad-brimmed hat, and I know you'll wear that cap after hours uh, and on weekends. So that would be one element of today's house ceremony, along with badges, meeting PC tutors, getting further to know big brothers. In different grades today, there will be ID uh, photos taken which will go on the ID cards to be produced uh, in coming weeks which are important for boys to travel on the bus, use the library, use the printers around the school and for other purposes. They're important things, our ID cards. We're going to be moving around the school getting tours, we're going to be meeting teachers. At 12.30 Everyone, uh, every student at Nudgee today will head to the McHenry Centre and we'll head into the basketball courts there after taking our shoes off, of course, on that special floor and we'll hear about the different choices that we have in front of us in performing arts and sport and other areas of co-curricular. Before we have lunch and most excitedly the tuck shop will be open for the first time this year. And I know that from wherever boys have come from, they often feel the nudgy tuck shop is an Aladdin's cave of treasure. So boys, you're welcome to use the tuck shop today. After lunch, our year five and six students will be having a swim. Our year sevens will be having their very first classes with their core teachers. New students who are in eight to 11, I'll be meeting you at the chapel. So after lunch, new students in eight to 11, I'll be meeting you at the chapel. And I'll put an announcement over the PA system just as a reminder of that at the end of lunchtime. To our senior boys, you've by lunchtime somewhat finished your role as big brother, although there could be some work to do still at lunchtime. But after lunch to year 12, we will gather in the learning centre and we will have our annual first, at last first day photo 
which is a special one for us to be together as a grade 12 group and that'll go out on social media and in other forums. After that gathering year 12, you need your device. You'll be assigned a classroom. I believe that would be in a calendar appointment that you would have in your uh, Google Calendar right now. Senior boys, you will all be in a classroom around Nudgee and you'll be having an academic mentoring meeting to have a look at how you uh, went last year and what you might need to do going into this senior year to get your best possible outcomes. So ladies and gentlemen, that's what today looks like. At 2.55, of course, we'll all be finished all at the same time. And what will be very rare for Nudgee, there'll be very few after school trainings today. So what that can mean, and perhaps there's more boys getting picked up at Nudgee today than there would be on any other day of the year. Today, tomorrow and Friday are massive days of boys being picked up from our pickup space. So mums and dads, I would encourage you to stagger that uh, between 2.55 and 3.30 today. The boys will be well looked after, well supervised here on campus. You might like to avoid the rush by coming just a little bit after 2.55 today. So Nudgy gentlemen, as we head off on our first day, just a couple of pieces of advice which are well known to those who have been here for a few years. I have said repeatedly uh, in this role what a great fan of Paddington Bear I am. And there's a Paddington Bear in my office and I thank Mr Mara very kindly for gifting me a beautiful Paddington Bear book uh, last Christmas. And if we can be like Paddington, we'll be all going very well here at Nudgee. Boys, you might ask me about that later on, about my love for Paddington Bear. But this year, Mr Todd's going to make uh, another recommendation. And no one in the room is too old for this beautiful book, The Boy, The Mole, The Fox and The Horse. Not even the grade 12s. Do yourself a favour, gentlemen. Ladies and gentlemen, if you're a fan of Paddington, perhaps, or books like Winnie the Pooh uh, on similar things, you'll love this book full of simple messages uh, for all of us about life. And it follows a young boy on his travels with, of course, a mole, a fox and a horse. A couple of lines you might enjoy. Do you have a favourite saying? Ask the boy. Yes, said the mole. What is it? If at first you don't succeed, have some cake. I see, does it work? Every time. Well, certainly I'm a fan of that, you can tell from my girth. Nudgy men, I wish you every success today, but when that doesn't happen, I certainly wish you cake. And I know the Nudgy Catering Department will help with that. Most importantly today, though, Nudgy men, what is the bravest thing you've ever said, asked the boy? Help, said the horse. So I'd certainly encourage you today and every day at Nudgee, if there are things that are concerning you, if there are places you do not know where you need to be, if you're feeling a bit lost or just out to sea for whatever reason, certainly connect with your big brother, your PC tutor, your house dean, your teacher, your coach, uh, people in leadership positions, we are all here to help you uh, on your nudgy journey. You are all very, very welcome. Ladies and gentlemen, we're going to wrap up now and I'm going to pass you over to your house deans. We might just flash up the slide again um, from a couple back of where all those different venues are. Mums and dads, I'd ask if you can let your sons go now pretty promptly because they'll be heading off uh, into those spaces and a bit of a delay could see them lost and potentially upset. Welcome again to everyone. Mums and dads, please stay for a cup of tea. We'd love to see you. Thank you.